I know is when the grind is in me. What's up, YouTube? So today, Julia had to get surgery to get her tonsils removed. <laughs> Pray for her. <laughs> Because I'm not sure how this process goes. I'm scared for her. If y'all know somebody who has their tonsils removed or y'all had y'all tonsils removed, let me know how the process went. Was it a speedy recovery or is my baby going to be miserable? Because I already know she can't eat solid foods for a while. So that's going to be hard for her. Because she likes to eat snacks. <laughs> Not so much food, but it's the snack part for her that's gonna kill her. Um, yeah, hopefully, it goes back smooth. She gonna be crying afterwards, whining because probably don't have no voice <laughs> for a little bit. It, but yeah, we'll come back when we're at the hospital, show y'all the process then. Yay. <laughs> it's the desk. Okay, check in at desk. This ain't exit only, so we gotta go over here. <coughs> it's cute in here. Huh? Yeah, it's the children's hospital. <laughs> Still in this line right here. It's the waiting room, y'all. It's okay. We waiting. It's like a little train in here. It's Charlie the train with some Lion King. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hello. Good afternoon. Sorry. <laughs> my name is Becca. What's your name? Dillian. Yeah, That's what I'm going to see you. How are you? Good. 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 My love thing. Oh, nice to meet you, Mother. <laughs> Hello. I am a child life specialist. <laughs> my job is to teach you about the hospital and help with the feelings you have while you're here. Do you know why you're here today? Yeah. Why? Because I need to get my tonsils done. It's incredible. I can hear it. I think. Uh -huh. Are you snoring at night? Yeah. When you snore, it's not your fault. The tonsils are too big and they relax into your airway. They vibrate. That's what makes you snore. But it also means that your body is working much harder than it should to breathe at night which means you're not resting as well as you could be. So we're gonna get those out of there so you can breathe better, sleep better, run faster, all sorts of good stuff, okay? Have you ever had surgery before? No. Did you like see a picture of the room you'll go to for surgery? No. I usually have an iPad, but like, oh my God, do you know what warheads are? That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. My sister and I used to soak warheads in water because they were too sour, so it was really just a hard candy, but mm. it had to be a warhead, you know? <laughs> all right, so. The room you go to next looks like that. That's what an operating room looks like. Ooh. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> it's not as exciting as it is on TV. I also think that TV and like YouTube and stuff always make it look super dark. It's not. This is what it looks like. You go for a ride in your bed to this room, we'll get you switched over to that bed. When you look up to the ceiling, these things here are just big bright lights. That's all they are. They won't even be on until after you go to sleep though. Okay. Did Anna said you come in and speak with you already? Yeah. What did they share about how she'll go off to sleep? Um, they'll put uh, they get her laughing gas, oh. um, put her IV in, okay, and then send the anesthesia through her IV. That way. Okay, perfect. So <clears throat> you will see a machine next to it called the anesthesia machine. Part of your sleep medicine will come from the thing that looks like this. The first and most important thing about this, though, is up here because this is what we watch to help us keep you safe. We'll put one sticker on your finger, three stickers on your chest, white wrap around your arm, all those things put in up here, and that's how we know it's taking good care of you. Okay. Then we're going to get you a mask. A mask plugs in. It's like a triangle shape. It goes around your nose, cheeks, and chin. You get to pick a smell. If you feel fancy, we have strawberries, oranges, cherries, purple <laughs> thunder, fruit punch. As you're breathing in the medicine, <clears throat> 
you might start to feel kind of floaty, kind of tingly, very relaxed. It does not make you start talking through secrets. It does not make you act or sing or do crazy things. You just kind of get super chill. Okay. Some people like how it makes them feel. Other people don't. And if you don't, just let us know because we can take it off and you'll breathe it off quickly and you'll do it back normal. Okay. As you're breathing in the laughing gas, they're going to use numbing medicine on top of your skin so that we can numb a small spot and put your IV in without you really feeling the pinch. Okay. When they put an IV in, the only piece they leave is a straw. Never, ever, ever the needle. So the needle is a little bit longer, but much thinner than the straw. It's already pretty skinny. Slide it in, put the straw in your vein, and then pull the needle out, throw the needle away. We never leave the needle inside, it's just this piece. Okay. The straw will bring you medicine to go all the way off to sleep, called anesthesia. It will also be how we keep you hydrated while you sleep, and then get you medicine too. You are the only one who can tell us how you feel. So when you wake up, if you are itchy, nauseous, uncomfortable, whatever, we're going to have medicine in your body to try and help make you as comfortable as possible, but if you need more, just let us know. Okay. We'll take this out before you go home and it doesn't hurt when it comes out. Questions? <laughs> Sound easy? Medium? Hard? Easy. Anything else you're worried about? Yeah. Just ready to be done. And I don't blame you. <laughs> You'll go to the wake-up room as soon as the procedure is done. We'll get mom back to you with you as soon as possible, and I promise we'll let you eat and drink as soon as we can too. Anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, do you feel comfortable going to the new room with the sleep team? We're going to go with you. Great, we're going to go together. I can really appreciate you fall asleep. Not yet, not yet. Lay back down. Are you good with your movie or do you want something else to do? I want something else to do. You want to play board game? You want Legos, Play Doh, coloring? Legos. Legos. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, a privilege. I'll be right back. Are you warm enough in here, my friend? Yeah. Okay. Are you warm enough, Mom? Yeah, I'm fine. I love Legos. Why are you still recording? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Hello. I just was gonna have you come back, but she was just sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> and I figured, well, at least over there you have the TV, you're probably watching TV or whatnot. She's doing just great. Okay. <laughs> she does wake up, and then she just I give her a few sips of water, and she goes right back to sleep. Okay. She's doing just great. Did the doctor come out and see you? He um once he got done, he told me that it went great. It went fine. Great. Okay. <laughs> hey, you want some water? Some oh, there there. You Of course, it's sore throat. That's all normal. Okay. I'll look for it after you. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? So, we're back at home. It was a long process, y'all. I've been at the hospital since. 10 30 this morning uh, so basically they took out her tonsils and her what is it called adenoids hold on y'all don't give me yeah her tonsils and her adenoids. So basically, this right here, I'm guessing. And the procedure, it took like 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes for them to take out the tonsils and the adenoids. But then she was in the recovery room. 
per hour. And I was like, where's my baby? <laughs> but yeah, let me rewind. Okay, so we got to the hospital at 1030. We sat in the waiting room. We got called to the back. We get called to the back. They told us the process, which was they were going to give her laughing gas to make her chill so they could put in her IV. Um, once they placed the IV, they put anesthesia through her IV and put her to sleep. Then after that, they took out her tonsils and her adenoids and woke her back up. She went to the recovery room. I didn't see her for about an hour after the after they got her tonsils after they took out her tonsils or whatever and um they had told me that it was going to be only 30 minutes in the recovery room my baby was gone for an hour i started to panic so i pressed the call button and i was like i need an update on my baby and they was like okay next thing you know they was willing her back but the nurse said they didn't uh, bring her back right away because they were just letting her sleep. So they woke up. She still was kind of drowsy or whatever. And she went back to sleep, so they let her sleep. So once they wheeled her back in about 15 minutes, they was like, okay, we're going to discharge you guys if she drinks water. She was drinking water. Well, they had a, her a cup of water already when they wheeled her back. So she drank that. And it was fine. They gave her um, a prescription for ibuprofen and Tylenol. And they said rotate every three hours. So every three hours, either she's taking ibuprofen or she's going to take Tylenol. So rotate. Oh. Um, they said the minimum time to go back to school, she can't go back to school for another week. If she's still in pain, then keep her home because basically they're not going to care for her at school uh, they said use the children are okay after the first five days but if she's still in pain continue to rotate the Tylenol and ibuprofen um, she has a diet she can't eat no solid foods right now well I wouldn't say no solid foods because she can still eat um, macaroni mashed potatoes she can have like broth she can have eggs she can have ice cream, jello, popsicles, juice, stuff like that. They said keep her hydrated because if you keep her hydrated, it's a less chance that she will bleed and it's a less chance that when those scabs come off, it'll hurt or irritate her in the back of her throat or whatever. Um, no school for two weeks, no school for a week, no physical no activities for at least two weeks but with her i think i'm gonna leave her out of school so um because i got spring break coming up at the end of the month so she might be out of school till they start back school after spring break because i know um her school will be calling me every day if i send her back to school after a week they'll be calling me every day to come pick her up and we're not gonna do that so they're gonna give her her work and she's going to be on a computer doing her work from there because I'm not going to no school every day. And um, you're going to get my baby when she can just stay home and be comfortable at home instead of in pain at school. This is the little clock that they gave me. So basically, uh, is it six o'clock? Okay, so she has to have Tylenol, which she did. Um. Motrin, Tylenol, Motrin. This is the clock that they gave me at the hospital. So that's like basically every six hours for each one. Um, they said it's usually hard for her to swallow and talk after. It's usually hard for people to swallow and talk after, but she's been swallowing fine and trying to talk so she's all right for the most part she just uh, like goes in and out of sleep um, basically since she's been out the uh, recovery room 
since she's been out the recovery room, she like wakes up and then she'll go back to sleep. But that'll happen. She'll she'll get, go back to normal. Um, she said she want ice cream and macaroni, so that's what she's gonna get, I guess, in apple juice. <laughs> I'm gonna get that for her. So yeah, Julia's fine, everyone. She'll be back to normal, back to her normal self in a couple of days. I know Julia. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share for more content. Is when the grind is in me